apparently people feel an entitlement to in this world of vast, complicated human beings. In the last several months, I've had different groups and people of, in particular, Kurdish background that there's a lot of racist people out there. I'm going to tell you this. Very racist. And they live in Arab Muslim countries, yet they're racist against the people of the nation that they're in. And I, I don't ever recall being Kurdish because I'm not Kurdish. My ethnicity and culture is not Kurdish. So I don't know where the concept and ideology or perception that I should be following a Kurdish beats me. But there's people that are asking me, are so fascinated with the situation with the Yemeni that I had him uh, jailed up for two days. So you may be asking yourself, like, what are these Kurdish people want anything to do with me? And I'm trying to figure this out myself because I don't, I'm not even applying any attention or uh, just you know unfortunately this world there's a lot of uh, men who are not mature they're not responsible um, and in regards to that Yemeni guy I have nothing to worry about there's nothing scary or intimidating by him I actually did him a very huge favor and I protected him from going back that is why I didn't end up doing the assault case so he doesn't get kicked out. Not because I care about him. I could care less. If he gets run over by a truck, I don't care. My point is, he escaped the Houthis. His family signed it up that they make money from the Houthis, that he's in the military, just to take money. And he escaped. And his brain intelligence is equivalent to a 12-year-old boy in terms of life experience, in terms of how to communicate with people, in terms of expectations from people in life and just overall understanding of everything in life. I'm not saying this because I'm literally trying to put Yemenis down. I'm not saying this because actually, if you've been watching me, if you know anything about me, I'm actually pro-Arab, okay? I'm all about freedom of Arabs. I'm all about all of that stuff. I, if you've watched my videos, I'm the one that says it was Arabs that saved my family line. But that doesn't mean every single Arab is righteous, just like not every Armenian is righteous. And if you watch my videos, I constantly speak the truth about my own people, how they all sell each other out. So it's got nothing to do with that in, in terms of me. But yes, there I seem to always have these Kurdish people contact me because they don't like Arabs. Stay away from Arabs, they tell me. Yet, yet uh, they live in Arab countries and it's just... I don't know. I block people like this. I block them because the, the, the envy is just, no, the childness, the child mentality. People have to understand I do not talk to boys, okay? This is why I get the police involved if I have to. At this point, people should know there's already Bedouins. They're fully aware. They have his picture. They have his information. They will go and break every bone in his body if they have to when they return back to Jordan, if he bothers me. And that goes for anyone at this point. They're fully aware. And they will do it. Happily. Even the Jordanian police were laughing at him. Because I was saying, this, he has no life experience and they're all nodding his head. Because you can't expect this. You just can't expect this from people. You cannot expect.